Now it's just not the pad now, y'all, that's gonna make this thing fit. It's the way my bars are with the pad. Because again, I don't want a lot of pressure here. But unfortunately, what's happened is, y'all see it, there's a lot of pressure in that working area, and with her having a downhill hip, it's even more pressure. So let's get the mule comfortable. If we get the mule comfortable, where we can take some of that pressure and, uh, and, and, and level it out, it helps out a lot. But here's what happens. A lot of people will take and they'll put um, padding up underneath here to bring it up. Well, now it's bridging. Now it's back in the kidneys, rubbing on the kidneys, and you've got a big hollow place through here. So I've found that with my bars and with my pad the way I designed it, I don't have that hollow spot and I'm not pushing against the kidneys. What do you think, Mr. Engineer? It does the job. He's in construction and stuff. Well, like you, you know how to do that stuff. So anyway. So is there only the two kinds? You're either the straight across or the slope down and the two different pads? Is there Basically, there is some mules with a little bit of an arch to them. Sway back a little bit? Like well, not really sway back. It's just plumb the way they're born, okay? Um, but not enough to create a problem. So I've pretty much been able to take my bar and put it on every single thing and have no bridging because my saddle doesn't care about fitting the whole back. It only feels, it only cares about the, the uh, 16, it's an 18 inch bar. So I let 18 inch bar, I've got four inches that's not fitting. So I've got 14 inches that's actually sitting on a mule's back, which is where my butt sits, which keeps the, the animal happy. So as long as I'm not tightening up that front cinch, I'm not doing this. So you just take right now and try to put your hand underneath there. It ain't going to happen. I know. All right. Now, on top of that, let's do this. Okay, put your hand here while you can put your hand underneath here. Right. Put it underneath there. Well, you got that? Mm-hmm. All right. And hold it, hold it there. Feel it? Mm. Okay. Feel it? Uh -huh. Okay, and yeah. it gets even worse as you go along. You see, the mule haven't even made a turn yet. He's just starting to turn his head. So he's, it's pushing down upon that scapula and pushing down upon that working area. He'll, he's got such a great disposition, he's trying to do it, but he can't turn as nice as he'd like to unless you make him do it. And otherwise, he'd just as soon not do it. Okay, so does that make sense to y'all? Okay, all right. She got a good insurance policy? Not good enough. <laughs> I, I, want you, I want you to increase it. Okay, just in case. All right. You see how this is tied? Is this the reason for this is being tied? Because I hung it up. Oh, okay. I, so when, I'm normally, when I'm riding them. They're split? When I'm riding them, it's split right Oh, I love you. Good. Perfect. Don't ever ride they're with like, one single like rein or, or tied like up rein. One. Perfect. This. Now, she's riding in a hackamore. Now, okay. then it's like this. Perfect. You, you, you just... You just, I give you five stars. Perfect. She, she rides like that. Yeah, perfect. That's what I like to see. Good. Okay. Normally, I would tell you if you wasn't riding a hackamore, I want you to take a spoon. I want you to tap on your teeth. And the reason I say that, you see these snaps? These snaps always bouncing on a mule's teeth, always banging on them. It's super uncomfortable. They're gapping their mouth a lot. They're elevating their head a lot because of those snaps. Now, if you were in Al Dunning's clinic, 26-time world champion, uh, uh, reigning champion, uh, he, if you come in with snaps, he'd say, go outside and change that and come back in. He ain't gonna let you ride the snaps on. The communication is, is super poor with it, okay? Mechanical hackamore is pretty awesome. We'll go into more detail on that later. Okay, so does that, does that kind of give you a picture? You see where your cinch is staying now, your saddle is staying now, and this sort of thing was set there? Got your breast collar on, let's get your breeching on, get you adjusted. And then so in you, other words, right now, I, don't, I shouldn't have these on? I, I personally don't like those scissor snaps because if they ever, you ever lose one of them and you gotta get yourself in a hurry, you're in I trouble. Just, I just don't snap this and put this around there. Yeah, that's all you gotta do, yeah. You know, it's, it's a lot easier on the animal. And of course, you got this nice big old fluffy thing here that's nice on them, you know. But any weight here, any weight on this nose, Okay. Is you know I try to stay completely away from it. You recommend taking the bride, or the halter off when you put the bridle on. I personally don't ride with a halter, you know, because uh, my all of my mules are hobble trained and, and they're also ground trained, which I showed you all the ground training. Mm -hmm. But if I want my mule to stand still and I throw my rein on the ground, 
and I turn a couple twists right there. Now he can't get his head down to get a bite. And as long as that thing's on the ground, he's trained like he should be, like I was telling you about. Yeah. He ain't gonna move. It's just don't pick up on that rope because he already learned from his training his nose is gonna pay the price. <laughs>